Yes, yes, and welcome to Vasily's Garden. Folks, we've gone back to winter. So we had a couple of nice spikes in the temperature and now we've plummeted back down to the 13s and 12s and feels like six degrees. So it's perfect for the uh, leafy greens. And finally, our Romanescos have formed a head. You can see that there, they're coming along. That one got eaten, so it's pushing its way back to glory again. Uh, that's from the sheep, that is, not me. So these are forming, but have a look at the size of these cabbages. Look at this, look at the size of this, and it's only just starting to form its head. That is massive. I mean, I've grown them before, but not that big. That's probably the biggest one so far. Even that one in that corner there, the leaves are huge. Have a look at this. Talk about making dulmadas, mate. You'll feed a whole family with one leaf. That's impressive. That's because it's growing in our planting mix, folks. Yeah, that's right. Whereas over here with our liquid fertiliser trial folks, well there's not much to see here, they're all growing in cocoa pith and they're not happy little chaps, that's for sure, well the tomatoes aren't of, of all three plants. So we've got the uh, marigolds and the sweet basil and a tomato plant and because we've gone from an, a nice hot sort of short week of uh, weather, good weather, to really cold, windy uh, and rainy days, the tomatoes are really starting to curl their, their leaves up there. They're not happy with the weather, that's for sure, but we'll persevere with these. I haven't given them a second liquid feed. They've only had one go at it and it's only in cocoa pith. What we are gonna do, just to recap on it, is we are actually gonna do another trial using the cheaper planting mix. You can see we've stacked them up in the background there. So we're gonna put the, uh, the garden basics, the three varieties of garden basics planting mix or um, potty mix and do another row here with only the basil and the marigold because I don't want to have tomato plants all over the place because if they do grow, when they do grow, it's just going to be a shambles here. So basil and marigolds in a basic cheap potty mix to see how they go. In the meantime, we'll just keep persevering with these little fellas and hopefully they come to good glory and see the better days as the weather warms up. Let's have a look at this one. What's this one here? Oh yeah, by the way, we're also doing, for those who did mention it, <coughs> at the combo. So Seasol does their Seasol and Power Feed combo, which they say to mix the two together. And we're doing ours as well, which is our Liquid Gold and our Eco Butch combo. So these two are getting both our liquid uh, fertilizers combined, where every other one there is getting it individually. Obviously they've got just the one product or the one brand for each, uh, for each pot there. If I had to wait for these to grow so I can eat, I'm going to starve. <laughs> Whereas here, have a look at this. We're not promoting the bed, but we're promoting what's in the bed. So this is a trial that I was doing in planting mix, only no mulch. We lost one plant in the middle here, but look at everything else. Look how vibrant and green they are. So they've just got our planting mix in here with the liquid feeds. And I have to say, they are really doing well, really healthy. Well, in fact, they're all doing really healthy because we've got another bit over there that's got some, uh, some of the same stuff, but that's got a mulch on top or the straw on top. So the straw does help. This was crusting over at the beginning when the sun was shining on it, but because we've got a mass planting going on, there's no direct sunlight to dry it out or dehydrate it. So the microbes in that mix there are happier now. Uh, but if you are planting out in an area where it's quite warm or hot continuously, make sure you mulch over. And before I go, with all the rain we've had, and some areas have had some really heavy downpours and you know high levels of rainfall, check your garden beds, make sure they're not waterlogged or if you've got too much mulch applied over the top, near the smaller plants, especially the seedlings, draw the mulch away from them so they're not gonna get uh, root rot or collar rot, because that can happen to them. And just being disheartened about the whole process of growing veggies at home. So check out your gardens, make sure your mulch, check the moisture levels are not too high, Create some drainage for them if they need it. Get yourself some planting mix, liquid gold, EK Butch, all the above, as you know. Check out our stockers page and great specials on this weekend for you as well. Dagden on Click and Collect has gone crazy. So please bear with us because we're trying to keep up with your orders. VasilisGarden.com for everything you need every day. From me, Vasily, Maresi.